Oh, hello. My name is Austin Lopez. What I'm going to be explaining to each and every one of you is how to do Proposition 26 in Euclid's Elements. Now, to this specific proposition, there are three cases, and the one we're going to be going over today is case one. Let's begin, shall we? So for every one of Euclid's propositions, there are two things called a given and a prove. So what's given already is that we have triangles ABC and DEF. We also must know that both angles AC, B, ABC and DEF and BCA and EFD are equal. We also need to know that sides BC and EF of each triangle are equal. But what we have to do in this specific proposition is we have to prove that ABC is congruent to DEF, which means if you get both of the figures and overlap them, that means they're going to be exactly the same. Let's go on to step one. So step one is the given. In every one of Euclid's propositions, step one will always be the given of the proposition. So let's go on to step two, three, and four. So in this proposition, Euclid is trying to say that AB is not equal to DE. One must be greater. So in step three, we're going to let AB be greater than DE. In order for us to do that, we have to cut off AB so that BG equals DE. Step five is pretty much just join CG. Once you join CG, you have to make sure that triangle GCB is equal to triangle DEF. So then we get a side angle side. So the sides BG and DE are equal. The angles GCB and DEF are equal. And the side BC and EF are equal. Then we get to steps 7, 8, and 9. In step 7, we have to know that GCB and DF are equal. And in step 8, we need to know that ACB and GCB are equal. But ACB and GCB cannot be equal, it, which is absurd. This is one of those propositions called a reductio, which means it does not make sense. So step 10, which is the last, last step, is that AB equals DE. Therefore, the side, angle side, side BC equals side EF and angle ABC equals angle DEF, and side AB equals DE.